uh, yeah, you know, I, I was a bit jittery for sure. I mean, it's uh, this is a new forum for me, and uh, I, I, I didn't. Uh, one of the things that we we did uh, earlier is we we met with uh, uh, with uh, with our elder, and uh, uh, I presented each of the councillors with uh, with tobacco. Um, it was a sign of goodwill and uh, and respect and. Uh, uh, the acknowledgement that we're on Treaty One uh, lands and the traditional homeland of the Métis Nation, uh, I, I didn't expect. I'm getting choked up now. Um, you know, it uh, it means something to me. To uh, 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 with my heritage, it meant something to say those words. Uh, you know, I mentioned uh, in my remarks here, and I also said it privately. There's some really good people that we are not on EPC and uh, uh, we are going to have a much more inclusive council than I think we've seen here before um, and I, uh, I wanted to assure all members of council that even if for those that aren't uh, able to be on EPC at this time uh, that their voice will be heard and uh, will be leveraging their expertise because there's many good people. It was, it was a difficult choice though. This, the vote for uh, one of the speaker positions seemed to break down along party lines quite considerably. How worried are you that your new EPC does the same? You know what, I, I'm... You know, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that with the individuals that we have on council that uh, we won't see, uh, you know, uh, you know, everything break down on party lines. But look, uh, people come here with, uh, with, their, with their views and, and that's okay and that's what they've been voted to do. But uh, my job is to try to bring people together and that's what uh, we started to do tonight in, in private, in public, and we'll continue to work on that. How so how do you, you do that? Province, how will you push the province to make the change so you can get council to elect EPC? With what's going on there right now, Brian, I don't know how long it's going to take to get anything done their business, let alone the business of City Hall. Well, I mean, I'm uh, I'm hopeful that uh, the order of business will still happen uh, on uh, on Broadway, but you know what, uh, we've still got work to do here regardless of what's happening there, and uh, we have a premier, we have a government, and uh, we've got to work with whomever is there. Uh, I, did, I did make mention in my remarks that uh, on a personal level, I'm pleased that uh, Minister Chief is remaining in his portfolio because uh, we've got a, a good open dialogue. We've been, uh, we've, been, uh, we've been chatting quite a bit over the last week on, on what's possible, and I'm very optimistic that we'll be able to uh, really move things forward for Winnipeg uh, with him there and if there's ever a change that I'll be prepared to work with whomever and whichever party is there. I'm sure you spoke with Jenny. Um, she's been, got a lot of experience. She does. Um, why not her over maybe some of the other people that were put on? You know what, I, I, I'm not going to speak directly to to, to any one member other than to say uh, she and, and members that, that weren't selected for EPC are very valuable. We need their, we need their expertise. Uh, we need hers as well. Uh, I think she's going to make an incredible contribution to this council and uh, the task at hand is to make sure that that happens despite the, the decision tonight on EPC.